Well, a bill that would loosen work restrictions and allow 16 and 17 year olds to work more hours is headed for a full vote on the Florida House floor. HB 49 passed the Florida Commerce Committee on Tuesday, its last stop before going to the full house. It passed 13 to 5, largely along party lines, with Democrats against it. The bill could allow employers to hire high school students to work overnight and work more than 30 hours a week during the school year. HB 49 was filed by Republican Representative Linda Cheney of St. Petersburg Beach. It would not only allow companies to put minors ages 16 and 17 on night shifts, but it would also give them the authority to determine how late the student works, regardless of how dangerous the work is. Nearly a million searches have been performed. How can I get a job as a teen? They want to work, but these uh, restrictions discourage employers from hiring them. This bill gets government out of their way to choose the path that's best for them and their families. That this bill is not about youth freedom to work, it's about corporate freedom to exploit. The bill also features language that would allow employers to treat minors as adults under labor laws. It would also block counties and municipal governments from enforcing restrictions on underage employees. If signed into law, Florida would become the latest state to pass major legislation weakening child labor laws after Arkansas, Iowa, New Jersey, and New Hampshire. So, Travis, is Linda Cheney right? Are there too many restrictions on employers? And that's 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 Couple different questions. making it hard, making it hard to hire 16 and 17 year olds. Well, there are too many restrictions on employers. I'm not I'm not convinced yet that this is one of them. But I I am intrigued by this whole whole um, discussion. And, you know, I remember we had to get work permits to work certain hours when I was a kid in school. I was in work program, though, and certain certainly new kids who were on a vocational track, who were not on a college track and who probably could work more hours. I did know some folks who, who were emancipated who wanted to work more hours and couldn't. So I don't this actually, I do know this legislation doesn't take us outside the federal. There's still federal regulations that prohibit, you know, child labor uh, to the extreme. And I certainly know we don't have any coal mines in Florida. We're not going to see kids out there breaking big rocks and little rocks uh, in, in the hot summer sun for, for, you know, days on end. Three Democrats voted in the committee to support this bill. One right. of the Democrats, Susan Valdez of Tampa, said, not entirely with it, but I think it can change for the better by the time it gets to the floor. Right. It'll be interesting to see how it, how it evolves. And I, I, this isn't one that, that is a big red flag for me, and I have a lot of big concerns about. Yeah. Uh, uh, Stanley, is there a big red flag for you? Do you for, think this opens me, the door to exploitation of children? I, I do. And to me, I, I kind of go back looking at this from a historical vantage point. You know, why did we have child labor laws? Okay. Because everybody knows what's going to happen is that the jobs that no one else wants are going to be occupied by these children. And uh, let's, just, let's just look at this, okay? You go to school for eight hours, all right? And then you're gonna work for eight hours at night? You, you can't convince me that that's not gonna impact kids' grades, but the worst thing about that is it's also gonna impact their, their destination. They're gonna probably exclude themselves from, from college or even trade uh, opportunities. They're gonna end up in menial jobs. And I'll bet you if this passes, when you go 20 years and you're gonna do a statistical analysis of this, you're going to find out that these kids took themselves out of the quote unquote living wage uh, population. And I really believe that. Amy, what, what do you think about the bill? Who are the, who are the kids that Stanley's talking about? The kids are kids from migrant families and from families with low incomes. They are the ones who are going to be exploited by this. And, um, you know, we need in Florida, we need every child to have a quality education. We need them to be able to arrive at school ready to learn. Having worked overnight the night before is not, is not gonna lend to that. And a lot of teachers say kids are falling asleep at school and, and distracted. Working all night isn't gonna help. Yeah, all right. I fell asleep in school.